Hello, welcome to Earth Engine Tutorial 118. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, several ways that you can download data from Google Earth Engine directly to your local computer without using Google Drive. And so in the last video, I show you how to create a fishnet based on a polygon, uh, Tutorial 117. Essentially, if you, for example, have a large image and uh, it's too big to download as a single image, then you can think about subdivide it into a small species by creating a fishnet and then use the fishnet to download those images piece by piece okay so this is what we're going to do in this video first let's go to download the noble examples uh, gmap.org and then uh, tutorials uh, control n to go to uh, the end of the, the page and then click number 118 so from here you can download this one to your computer and then you can open using um, Jupiter. So, for example, let me open here. And so, uh, depends on the number of image, images that you want to download. Uh, you can download just one image, or you can download a bunch of images just using one line of code. And I believe in uh, the tutorial before, uh, let me see here, uh, probably number 11, a uh, long time ago exporting images and image collection as GeoTIFF and NumPy so you can also watch this one but the downside about this is that um, this one uh, in the past it used directly um, if the image is too big you need to download to uh, basically Google Drive so um, let me see here notebooks so we see from here download image and um, for last file you need to download to your Google Drive and so the difference between this one and the new one that we're going to cover is that now we use a package called uh, GEDIM, GEDIM uh, on GitHub. So you can check it out if you want. Uh, it quite nicely. Uh, basically, it figures out uh, if you're trying to download a large image, it's going to help you to put them, um, divide them into smaller pieces and then download them uh, to your computer and then merge them together. So uh, behind the scene, using X-Array, and other uh, open source packages to merge the files together so that you can download last file directly to your computer so a uh, kind of work around and uh, so first let's uh, go through the example and let me see here create an interactive map and then so for example uh, in this case we're going to download a lens set imagery okay so you're welcome to draw any rectangle around the globe or you can just simply oops, Oh no, this is number 117, so we should be downloading uh, 118. Let me go about that. See here, let me download this one again. Uh, 118. Click here, save, and then refresh, open. So again, import the library, create an interactive map. And the first example we are going to use is the lens set imagery. So lens set uh, collection two uh t1 tier one and top of uh, atmosphere and so this is the entire image collection uh we are just going to get the first imagery uh in the catalog and then uh, we can display it on the map okay take a look so now we have this one uh, if you want you can take a look at uh, use the layer control to see the differences for example you can zoom in a little bit to see more uh, features so this is the first imagery acquired by lens set uh, eight right yeah it looks quite nicely so let's download this imagery and what you need is just sync one line of code so there's a function called download e image and press your cursor within there and then shift tap on your keyboard to bring it up so the first parameter is the image so whatever image you're going to download so this one must be a type of earth engine image okay and then the file name is where you want to save the file in this case we just directly lens set uh, if you don't specify the full file path it's going to use the current working directory so this is where the notebook is located it's going to download to my downloads directory and you can also specify a scale okay uh, lens set this one is 30 meter resolution but for uh, demonstration purpose i'm just going to specify a large number so a uh, coastal resolution so it's faster scale 100 if you don't specify it's going to download the original the native resolution so in this case it would be 30 meter and you can specify the uh, coordinate system uh, resampling uh, data type and uh, both of those you can just keep as default so you don't really need to 
uh, change any of those. So you can skip as default. If you want more information, just look at the help documentation. Okay. So after that, just shift enter to run this uh, call block. And you take a look. It's running. It has a pro you see a progress bar. You also see the file size. Keep in mind, this is the raw file size. So usually after this downloading, it's a bit compressed. So it's not really downloading the entire uh, 512 megabytes. So now you take a look. It's in here. It's 114, uh, 146 megabyte, right? And it's much smaller than this one. But as you can see now, you can download a file that's uh, over 100 big, uh, megabyte. If in the past, if you use uh, directly from Google Engine, it's I think usually larger than 10 megabyte, you won't be able to download directly to your computer. It has to go through Google Drive. But now this is uh, saving a lot of time. That uh, and okay, so once you download the imagery, then you can open any desktop GS, for example QGS, and then I can just simply drag that one to the map. Okay, and then just right click, zoom to layer, uh, take a look. Uh, you can also double click to open the uh, metadata information right so you can change the bank combination you can also look at the original metadata and it's quite nicely 146 megabyte you see all the information about bank one the statistics and if you scroll all the way down um, you also see a lot of all the metadata information are also included so this is quite nice uh, that everything is included and you can also see the pixel size right uh, also coordinate information so again uh, very nice and easy to use so this is how you can download one single image but uh, if you want to download a, a series of images sometimes you want to download all the available images for your area for example uh, you can also just using one line of code uh, download e image collection so you can just pass in the image collection where you want to download and also the scale right in this example we're going to for example specify the output directory because uh, uh, if you don't specify, it's going to download your current uh, working directory. So maybe um, you can do that. Uh, you, if you don't need, you can just uh, uh, use the default one. And we're also going to use the net imagery. So this is the one meter or uh, half a meter resolution uh, uh, for the entire US. And we go, you can specify, for example, uh, the location. So this we're just specifying the point and then find out all the images intersecting the point and also all the images after 2008 and we also only interested in images that uh, contains a near infrared band and after that uh, take a look so you can also take a look at how many uh, images in this entire image collection so uh, collection dot size and dot get info so in this case you will be able to see how many images in there uh, we have nine images right and then just use this single function uh, again shift tap on your keyboard to bring up the documentation and the collection uh, where you want to output so if you don't specify it's going to be your current directory and the file names so by default it's going to use the system index uh, of the collection so each image has a system index so if you don't want to use that you can just pass in a list of file names so in this case we have nine images you need to pass a list of nine uh strings into this so that you can use the file name you can also specify the region of interest uh it's going to just um, um uh, downloading those that intersecting the region and also the uh, coordinate system the scale resample so those are kind of similar to what we used earlier and the last, one of the most important is the scale so because this image is some of the one meter resolution and half a meter so it's quite large i'm just going to use 10 meter but you get the idea so after you execute you see we have a total number of images nine and then it's going to download one by one uh, by the way so uh ignore the color um sometimes the color does not it not all download all the images successfully but the color is red so i'm not sure why but you can simply ignore the color now you see we have nine images and has been all downloaded automatically to our computer so if you take a look because we didn't specify the file names so it's just going to use the name of the file in the system so it's using the system index so basically the uh, the file name in google engine and then it's automatic so take a look now we have these all images uh, it's only 1.5 megabyte but if you download the original one you'll be uh, 100 times larger so 
you'll be uh, 150 megabytes so it's going to be much larger um, but you can try it if you want again let's uh, open the imagery so for example let me drag all the images to here and just click ok and then zoom to layer so you'll be able to see because it's using the natural color so it's kind of a, a mix with the base map but now if you turn that off you'll be able to see the imagery in here right and there are nine images in total so if you can turn that off one and only off and most of this will be full full band because we filter out the near infrared and if i change this one four one two this would be the color infrared now you see this one right so just 10 meter resolution but you can download the original one meter if you want and again very nicely all the metadata information are included in here right so 10 meter and the coordinate system and all the other information so this is how you can download the entire image collection directly uh, just using one line of code the last one i'm going to show you is to download uh, image by tile so uh, for example let me show you here this is the a uh, lens imagery right a uh, five-year composite uh, for the entire globe and this is quite a large image because it's not by by scene and if you want to download the entire one it's going to take a while and so it's better to actually to download a small blob uh, piece by piece that uh, you can actually later more most together otherwise if you download a big one and something happened in the middle then you might be able to you might need to re-download it so it's not very convenient and so let me show you an example they say okay i want to download data around um las vegas somewhere in here and so you can simply uh, specify a bounding box or i can let me add this one back to the map so add uh, layer reason and then roi okay so this is this is the roi i'm interested in and now i want to download the images so assume that um this is too big to download as a single image and so what we can do is to download to subdivide into smaller pieces using the fish net so in uh, tutorial one the same thing i show you how to create a fish net so in this case uh, this is the reason by right, this polygon and we want to subdivide into two rows and two columns and then we want to add that one to the map so take a look uh, because by default it's going to uh, use the delta one so you might have some extended to the right uh, the reason for this is for some uh, irregular polygon you might you want you might not get full coverage if you're just using uh, the default delta so if you if you just want to be exactly um, covering area you can set delta to zero and then you'll be just one you'll be exactly covered so now we have four uh, pieces let me turn off this one right and if you want you can just change the color to make it uh transparent so now you see a much better picture of what it looks like so i'm going to change maybe to uh white color uh red color all right and then apply uh, you can change it to align with to sweet if you want all right so this is now what uh the polygon uh look like and this is the original one all right so you see exactly now we have these four pieces four polygons four rectangles then we can download the images one by one so this is the same thing but we have a different function download Im image tiles and shift head so the first one is the image the second parameter is the feature so in this case it will be the feature collection it will be the fish net right and then you can specify the output directory uh, again it's going to download my downloads directory you can also specify a prefix so uh, basically the file name so when you um, download images you're going to have a bunch of images so in this case we have four right so you might have like hundreds thousands uh depends on the number of images you want to download so you can specify a, um, a prefix so i'm going to call lane set for example lane set underscore one underscore two three four right depends on how many if it is like more than 10 you'll be uh underscore all one all two all the way to 11 12 something like that so this is how you can specify if you don't you don't need to if you don't want you can also specify the coordinate system so epsg 3857 and also the scale 30 meter so and again those parameters are the same as the one we introduced earlier and after that simply uh, shift enter then you should be able to download again this is a huge image 
and we are downloading small piece by piece if you are downloading images at a global scale you can create uh, a, a fishnet at a global scale and then you should be able to download all the images uh, for this global scale image and then you can behind the scene uh, once you download to your computer you can merge them back to a single image right okay it's all done and then refresh take a look right on the left side here let's say underscore one two three four right those are the four images that we just downloaded and then come back here let me drag these four images and then put it onto the map again zoom to layer right so we have four images so this is a multi-spectral band if you want you can double click symbology and then uh, let's say i want to force color composite so four three two and you might also want to stretch right Hurry, apply okay so now you have this one kind of similar you can do the same thing for others right i can simply right click styles copy style and then right click paste style uh style paste style and the last one number two is that so take a look so now you have this image downloaded to your computer and if you want you can compare to this one right it's the same thing like what we just downloaded here from this so this is how you can download images directly to your computer without going through google drive and so this one here 26 megabyte right so in the past if, if there's more than 10 megabyte most likely you will have to use google drive but thanks to uh ge uh team so uh download images right and now you can download small pieces and merge them back together automatically as a large file and it's a lot faster so this is how you can especially if you need some quick images without having to use google drive because uh, it creates a task and then you need to wait um, for that but um, anyway so this is what we can do uh, a much better way of doing this but keep in mind uh, this one depends on this new package and uh, g uh, team and because it relies on raster io and some other packages so this is not uh official dependency a required dependency of gmap so you need to make sure that you download if uh install that but if it doesn't you can just uh, single here pip install gedim okay exclamation hit enter if you are on windows uh you, you it's highly recommended you use conda so you might need to use conda install and then um this c conda force or use mamba so usually method is use mamba and the easiest way uh you be to set up a new conda environment and then use a uh, um mamba mba install uh pygs so pygs as a new package that i uh released last week so this one include also the uh, all the optional dependencies for gmap so you don't have to install g uh, theme uh, directly so if you want to you can watch also that video to uh, install and after that you should be able to run the notebook directly uh, on your computer after you have set up the environment all right so that's all for this uh, video i hope to see you in the next one take care bye bye